Welcome back to Investing in Trading Live, sponsored by Trading Academy. Once again, I am your host, Josh Lilquist. On the last segment, we covered some income strategies, the futures market, the opportunities on a market that's open around the clock, same as the Forex market, two markets that are open roughly 24 hours a day, offer leverage, which means you can be more efficient with whatever dollars that you're going to use. People sometimes shy away from the stock market because it takes so much money to be able to do that. It ties up all your capital. What if you could trade and invest with much less? That's what the futures market, the forex market offers, is opportunities to be efficient with your capital, maximizing those dollars that you have and putting them to work just like any any other, like a business would, leverage their dollars. We had a lot of people texting into the investing class. Congratulations to those that did that. If you missed it, you can simply just text the word investing to the number 210-210 for two seats for an investing class in a neighborhood near you. We're doing classes all across the metro area. Text the word investing to the number 210-210 or simply go to learnwithota.com. I still have Aaron on the show here. Aaron, you having a good time today. Hey, yeah. It's, it's good. To, I love talking about the financial markets and uh, just getting other people's insight on just opportunities, helping our listeners making smarter investing decisions. So we appreciate that. Um, and I got some more questions for you today. All right. So we talked about income on the last segment. Now, there, we've been seeing in these investing classes, a lot of people come into these classes that have retirement accounts. Mm-hmm. Some very, very wealthy too, you know, looking to protect what they have. But we're seeing also some people that have a good start but they feel they might be a little bit short once they get to retirement. So they're trying to boost that retirement account, but do it safely as well. What are some of the things that you can do with retirement accounts that offer opportunities for people that have something already started? Oh, you know, there are so many, so many opportunities uh, for people that have already, you know, got something started. And by the way, for those of you that don't, you know, um, we all dream about making a lot of money, but my opinion doesn't do a whole bunch of good to make a lot of money if you don't if you can't keep a good portion of it. Yeah, ask somebody who took a big start, hit in two thousand eight. Oh yeah, geez, and start uh, yeah start building it back up. So this is a very important topic. Um, we are seeing a lot of people come in because uh, you know, and as they get into their their forty five fifty years old and they start looking at their four hundred one k, you know, it's unfortunate that that the four hundred one k doesn't perform better than it does. Yeah, I know. Um, and so you know, um, looking at that and saying, "All right, I've got to do a little bit better. Or I've got to do much better." is kind of a common thing that we that we see coming into our classes. And you know, fortunately, uh, there's there's some very simple things that you can do to start um, to start looking at opportunities that you have if you know what you're doing. Okay. Um, that you know could potentially well outshine. Uh, the opportunities, the 401ks, or having other people manage IRAs for you, things like that. Um, and so taking a portion of, of uh, what you would like to uh, invest in the future and start uh, doing it yourself is, you know, might, might, might be just the thing for you. Um, and, uh, and then maybe taking more of that into the future. Mm-hmm. You know? So if, if somebody has, let's say, an IRA, which... If you have an IRA, you're not required to have somebody manage that for you. You're not required to have a broker, an advisor, some sort of investment manager do that. Because if you think about it, who's going to have the best interest in your money? Besides your kids, it's going to be you, right? (laughs) So there's ways to protect it, as Aaron's talking about. But there's ways to be diversified properly as well. And it's not just being in a whole bunch of different stocks. So... One of the things that I've been seeing some people want to get into is they, they like gold and silver. Mm-hmm. But rather than just going out and trying to find coins and stuff like that, it takes a lot of work. How would somebody get in the market and with, say, gold in their retirement accounts? Well, so there's a couple of ways to do it. And I think you know this is an important topic because a lot of people don't realize that you can self-manage and self-trade out of your IRAs or Roth IRAs. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can do it in almost any of the markets, all right, depending on uh, the broker that you've got. And of course, you can always change brokers if you don't like what they're doing. Mm -hmm. But um, whether, you know, if you like gold and you want that in your Roth IRA, there's two ways to do it, okay? You can go to the stock market and they have gold, um, well, they have gold stocks as in the mines. They've got the gold uh, exchange traded fund, the ETF. 
Uh, you can also trade out of the futures market, which is my personal favorite, um, and uh, you know, and actually trade the the gold itself. And, yeah. You know, um, and that's my favorite again because of the leverage, but it gives you the opportunity to uh, to make that money grow a little bit faster mm -hmm. uh, there in the future. So depending on your strategy, what you're trying to get out of it, you know, um, you've got the different markets to work in. Yep. And the reason I brought up gold, uh, gold and I'm just talking about GLD as the ETF, it trades right. just like a stock, is there's opportunities. You look at gold from October of mm, 2022, so just less than two years, mm -hmm. that's up 50%. Yeah. So it, it's an opportunity to still have gold, not have to buy physical, because the nice thing about this is very liquid. And what right. I mean by that is you can get out of that position at any time. It's right. not like a mutual fund where you have to wait till the end of the next day, most likely, to get out of your position. So if there's anything that could be happening in the markets that you're afraid of, just you can always get out of any position. Um, so that's a great way to be diversified in multiple asset classes, not multiple stocks. Yes. Yeah. A real diversification means that you're diversified into different sectors of the market, not just that you hold different stocks, mm -hmm. right? More than one stock. And so, you know, most people don't know that you can have uh, things like the physical assets like gold in the same portfolio as you can have uh, real estate, yeah. as in REITs. Yep. Okay. Um, and the same, you could do, uh, di you know, the commodities, you could do uh, the, the uh, I don't know, the, the cash um, assets, mm -hmm. uh, almost anything, there is something out there for you in different sectors if you know what you're looking for. So just staying on that topic of, of gold, just because that's just something we talked about. Sure. Gold is at 229 bucks, roughly, depending on when you listen to the show, mm -hmm. um, per share, GLD. Right. Now, you know, that might be too expensive for some people, right? Okay. So it, it, it would take a decent size account, say, to buy a thousand shares of that, shares of that or, or, you know, 10,000 shares of that. What is another way... We mentioned earlier with with the income side of it, with leverage, what's a way to get into these in your 401k or your IRAs and be able to be efficient with those that capital and use less of that, say with gold, if it's, if it's at 220 bucks, 229 bucks? Well, yeah, so there are derivatives of gold, all right? Um, and my favorite place, of course, is, uh, is the derivative, you know, the gold derivatives market there in futures. Mm -hmm. uh, there's micro gold. Mm -hmm. eh, much less expensive to be able to trade it there. You know? Can you do options on gold? You can do options on gold. Uh, you know, yeah, and options are great, a great way to uh, to start. Uh, now, you know, you do have to know what you're doing with options, and so I would suggest coming into one of at least, <laughs> yeah, coming into one of our uh, little two-hour classes and just learning what options are about mm -hmm. uh, before you start doing it, because uh, you do need to know what you're doing in any market. You need to know what you're doing before you. Anything we do in life, we'll call absolutely. It. Anything you do in life, um, and you shouldn't treat investing or trading any different. You expect to do well. You've got to know what you're doing. Yep. It's it's a skill. So yeah. there's an opportunity to use options with your your IRA. Mm -hmm. Which you should, because other option strategies to protect your wealth. Oh yeah, uh, options were built as insurance. In fact, uh, you know one of the things that you learn very quickly um, in our investing classes is that you've got the opportunity to insure every penny of your wealth. You think the market's high right now? You're worried that uh, you know that Warren Buffett is liquidating so many of his assets. He's got so much of it in cash. Mm -hmm. You think that um, you know an imminent drop is coming? You don't have to get out. You can insure it. You just have to know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about this. So I mentioned earlier that in life, you need to know what you're doing. Absolutely. And anything that you do, right? Anything. So most people probably have insurance on their, their homes, mm -hmm. themselves, mm -hmm. their their car, car insurance. Uh, what else? Uh, what other insurance is there? Um Whatever insurance that's out there that most health people, insurance, health insurance, all that insurance, stuff. Yeah, all of it. So people are insuring almost everything in their life, but they're not insuring their portfolio. <laughs> and it, it, it really baffles me because that's something that you work 20, 30, 40, sometimes 50 years to build. You can't afford to lose that in a market drop. Now, I'm not saying we're going to have a market drop tomorrow. Could we? 
It's, it's possible. possible. It's going to happen, but wouldn't that help you sleep better at night? Just like having insurance on your home, your car, your health insurance. Wouldn't that help you, uh, help you sleep better at night if you had protection on your portfolio? Oh yeah, anybody that went through 2008 and watched the devastation there, yeah, uh, can't help but think, oh, hey, it might be nice to you know, be able to insure what I've got right now. Yep. And if you don't know that, talk to somebody that went through that because yeah. you don't want to have to go through that and learn the hard way. So we have investing classes strictly on retirement accounts, IRAs, 401ks, the strategies designed for them, how to use leverage in there so you can protect most of your dollars. How to have insurance policies, there's strategies actually through options that acts just like a insurance policy on that portfolio. So as Aaron was alluding to earlier, if you feel like we're going to see a downturn in the market, which is it's possible, it doesn't look like it, but anytime there's a lot of euphoria, you might want to be aware from that of that. Right. Um, don't just get out, insure it and protect that portfolio and still have those stocks or ETFs, whatever that you have in that portfolio, still have the upside potential as well. So we have strategies and techniques that we cover in these investing classes right here at the Academy, all across the Metro. Simply call, uh, text the word investing to the number 210, 210, and that's for two seats, one for you and one for a friend. Text investing to the number 210, 210 for two seats for an investing class. When you do that, you're gonna get a text right back with a link to our landing page. You can pick your own date there. You can also go to learn with OTA.com. Aaron, it's been a great time with you on the show here today. I know you got a lot more to cover here today on other, other things that you're doing, but I appreciate you coming on. This is Investing and Trading Live. We will be, we will be right back. <laughs>